Yeah, that, that was my fault. That was my fault. Oh, okay, okay. I had awesome. my um, I had my Bluetooth headphones attached, but they was in another room. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how's it going, man? I'm good, man. How you doing? Fucking excellent, man. Fucking living life, you know. Like, getting good, this grind man. on, getting this grind on, you know. Like trying to get these interviews every week. Every I see week. you. You you busy? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, like uh, yeah, you, you, you you've been busy for a long time. Like I remember, um, I don't remember exactly when uh when I, when I heard of you, but it was like um. Um, I'm pretty sure it's through uh, 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 Richie Dolo. Yeah, Richie, uh, you, Richie, and Frank. I remember y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember y'all. I, 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 I listen to y'all every now and then. Nice, nice. Yeah, um, m- me and uh, me and uh, Richie been friends since like fucking way back. Um, Frank, uh, me and him had a little falling out, and then. Uh, he, 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 like uh, a years had passed, and then yeah. I, and one day like uh, I'm at work, and then uh, all of a sudden I hear "Hey Eddie," and then I look over and it's him, and I'm like, "Oh fuck, man!" Like fucking, I'm like years had passed. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about that. Like that old fucking problem we had. Yeah. Like I was like, w- w- me and him just uh, um start talking again. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good. I, I fuck mm-hmm. with y'all. I fuck with all y'all. Y'all are my first introduction to Canada. It's for like, sure. For sure. I, 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 I think you were like one of the first people we like we started talking to like um outside of Canada. Oh, see, that's what's up. It, I like yeah. that. That's what's up. Yeah, uh, R- Richie, he actually made the logo. Yeah, oh, for real? Yeah. yeah that, have that, you that, seen his graphic stuff? Oh yeah, he's dope. He's dope. He, he really changed. He, he changed it around. You know, say so he don't do music, but he turned yeah. up on the graphics though. I like that. Yeah, when I uh, when 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 I uh, you, you actually met us, like all of us were rappers, and now yeah. uh, and now all he, y'all do something different now. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Frank does the the videos. I I, I do the interviews, and yeah. uh, and Dolo does the uh, the graphics. The graphic. Yeah, that's yeah. dope though. I mean, yeah. shit. Sometimes you got to grow into other things. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You just got to do what you got to do. For sure, for sure, like um, the rapping kind of like led into like. Well, I, I can't speak for them, but I assume, you know, like the the rapping kind of like just like led right into like um, that shit for them. Like for me, it was like I, I started watching interviews with like uh, like rappers, and I was like, I was like, yo, I'm like after watching so many interviews, I was like, fuck, why don't I why don't I try that shit? You know, like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I knew you was. I I thought you would start doing that because I had used to watch your um the No Condom podcast. I think yeah. that's what it was called. Yeah, yeah, so I used to watch that every now and then when I see you post it. I, I, I tune in. Nice, nice. So uh, how's things going with you? I mean, it's good. I'm trying to bounce back. You know, I just had COVID or whatever, so I, I'm I just, just trying you, Yeah. I, 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 I just seen you post that. Um, Man, like, uh, uh, like how, how is it dealing with that? Was it like some people have it more severe, some people have it uh less severe how, how was it for you well f- for me personally i i didn't i didn't have a bad case the only thing my my only thing was i kept running a fever and like when i get in the shower like a hot shower it would make me cough up a lot of mucus but other than that i didn't have like no weird cough or it didn't fuck with my heart like how some people does it like it, yeah. it does damage to the heart so I didn't have no no problems like that. It was just those two main things. You know, the first two days was the uh the first two, three days was the hardest, but after that it was like, okay, I had to keep taking like medicine to break my fever because I kept running 103, 104. Oh shit. Yeah. So yeah. Other than that, you know, everything's good. I'm back to normal. But my grandma caught it around the same time and she actually passed from it. So okay, right. it, it's a crazy time. So that's why I ain't really been pushing on music because the end of 2020, my, my sure. uncle died. And then at the beginning of this year, the very beginning of this year, my grandma died. So it, it was just it was like a crazy two months. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, you know, sorry to hear that, man. My condolences to the, your family. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate yeah, it. Uh, uh, me, I, 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 I had an experience of like losing like um it's one thing losing one 
like family member. Um, it's like another thing, like like losing two, like um, uh, probably about uh, a year and a half ago now. Uh, I, 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 I lost an aunt on one side. I lost a cousin on, 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 on the other side. Like in, 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 in the same week, and I was like, "Holy fuck, man!" Like, you know, so Both from COVID. No, 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 no. Like, um, like oh, um, this was like pre, like uh, um, pre COVID, but it was like the same week. I, I kind of like, I was like, "Oh fuck, man!" Like, but I, 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 I definitely relate losing like multiple family members in like a certain amount of time. It's like, fuck, man, that shit's hard, man. But we gotta keep pushing. Yeah. <laughs> We definitely gotta be strong for the rest of the family too. You know? Sure, yeah. Thanks. But like, uh, uh, that's one thing. Like, um, like I felt like, uh, like, like, um, me, like, uh, I don't know, like, from like, from my family, like, they always look at me like I, 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 I'm a, like, I'm a, like a strong one. Like, they're like, I'm oh, in. Like, if, 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 if you know, like, if, yeah. How is he handling it? You know? How is he handling? Yeah. It? Like, uh, uh, let's follow that. You know, but um. Uh, I'm definitely glad to hear you're good, man. Like, uh, cause that COVID shit, man, it's, it's fucked, man. Like, yeah, you know? it's, it's definitely real. A lot of people think it's fake. That shit is real. That shit and, really it, 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 and it's a lot worse down, uh, down states as well. Like, uh, 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 up here, our case aren't as bad, but, uh, mm-hmm. it, it's, it's still bad, but it's not like down, down there, um, uh, you guys, man, you guys, yeah, are good. yeah it's, it's it's wild down here. It's really because a lot of people ain't taking like caution, like people walking around with no mask and group activities and stuff like that. So I think that's the main reason why it's spreading like that. It's like people just not taking it as serious as it really is. And then it's people who sick who have it and they're going around in public with no mask and stuff like that. And yeah. yeah. So it's just things like that. For sure, for sure. Uh, what are some of the moves like you're making right now to like kind of like because um, the, the grind has to continue no matter what. Oh, so, like, so, yeah. So, so uh, how are you how are you adapting to um, the, 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 this COVID world and getting your grind on? Well, you know, I start. You know, once you um, you know gave me this great invitation to be on your platform, you know, for an interview, I just figured like. Since COVID's going around, maybe I'll just start to do more interviews or more things digitally until everything opens back up. You feel what I'm sure. saying? So sure. you you definitely gave me that idea, so I I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, so like yeah, man, like uh, definitely, like uh, I, I had to figure out something. I'm like, man, like uh, <laughs> like what am I just gonna sit around? I'm like, yeah. like twiddle my thumbs, you know? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna fucking get out there and do shit. You know, like I gotta gotta figure this shit out, man. Like you know, right, right, right. I was definitely like, uh, and like, um, you, 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 his vaccine is gonna work. Fuck no. I mean, it's a lot of people dying from it already, so I don't know, man. I think yeah. it's too early because if you look at any other vaccine that's came out, it took like at least ten to twenty years, something in there, and they did this one in one. I think less than one. Yeah. So it's it's I don't know. I mean I hope because you know the, I I really think like the elderly and people who have like underlying disease I think they need that you know what I'm saying but I don't think this batch of vaccine is any good. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah, uh, I, I definitely I definitely feel yeah like me I, I never took the flu shot. Um, I, I I never took like uh other things. I, I, I always feel like um I'll take like a like I, I, I take a vitamin C pill every every morning, yeah. um like that's like uh it helps kind of like keep things away. I haven't actually been like me personally. I haven't been sick in like probably like four or five years. Oh really? That's good. Yeah. That's good, yeah. man. Congratulations. You know what? I, I think it's like because I'm just like I'm like I'm dirty in the trenches and I'm like fucking I'm like. Like my, my my immune system is up, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm, like I'm like I don't give a fuck, man. I'll like I can just get out there and fucking do shit. Like that's how I've been like for forever, right? So it's a dirty motherfucker in the trenches. So my my immune system is up, you know. <laughs> right, 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 right. Most definitely, most definitely. Right, like these people that like been been washing their hands, like fucking, you know, like they're fucking, they're like they're scared now. Me, yeah. I'm like, no, like fucking. Should have seen how dirty my fingernails were before, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see you. Hey, you got to get it how you live, man. Yeah, yeah. 
So um, yeah, for for music, like um, uh, Neil Smith uh, shoots, shoots all all the videos. Yeah, um, I go to this guy named Four Twenty Visuals in my city. He's a dope videographer, and I I like consistency. So I just I just go to him because I know he gonna have a quality product every time, and. When you bounce from videographer to videographer, I feel like it kind of messes up the vision for what you're doing. So I just go to the same one. You know, I don't mind paying or nothing like that. I don't have no problems with spending money because it's quality over quantity with me. Like, I'd rather put out a bunch of quality shit than put out a bunch of just gibberish or a bunch of just low quality stuff. That that messes up your brand. So I never wanted to get into that. For sure, for sure, definitely. Like, um, consistently, I was like, uh, like I, I, I really f- feel that because I'm like, uh, it could almost give like the, the, like the fan, like a more like a, like when, when you do put out a new video, it gives you that, 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 that familiarity of like the other stuff. So as soon as they watch the new one, they're going to go back and watch the old one. Right, right. Because it's the quality. If right. You, anytime you do quality, it, I think it keeps, it keeps more fans or more followers around. When you just be putting out bullshit after bullshit after bullshit, you know, that's when you have the wondering fan base. As soon as you, you know what I'm saying, you you meet a disconnect, you're going to lose everything you built. So I feel like the the more quality you have, the more you can build something that will stay around, something, a good foundation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, oh, 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 What do you actually think about um people taking down, like, some of the, their, their old stuff? Like people be like, oh, that's not really me anymore. Um, I mean, nah. like, I, 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 that's part of your history, right? Right. I definitely keep it. I mean, I got a bunch of bullshit out there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a, a bunch of bullshit that I look at and I get cringy. Like I'm like, ooh, like ooh. But you know, yeah, it's part. It. It's it's part of the story. So yeah, you gotta I, mean, leave like, it. I, I, I feel the same way. Like uh, especially like like some of the, the no kind of podcasts. Episode yeah. when, we got, when we got like super fucked up, like uh, I was like, I, I, I look at some of those episodes, but I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it, keep it on there, man. But like, it's cringeworthy yeah. to me, you know. Like, yeah, it's it's part of the story. It's all part right? of the story, man. You should definitely keep it. You know what I'm saying? And it's entertaining. Sure. It's entertaining for you, for you know, for ourselves to go back and look at ourselves and be like, whoa, God, yeah. do you ever go back and look at like your old music videos and stuff? I have, I have, yeah, and like. Uh, okay. uh, it, 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 you know what? Um, I actually learned like my lesson from that because like some of my like old, su- like super old videos, I, I, I ended up taking some of those ones down. Like uh, like like um, multi- like, like super super years ago, right? And then yeah. um, and like uh, somebody came out to me one day and they're like, "Hey man, like I was tra- I was trying to find this video on on, on YouTube, man, like th- th- that was my favorite one." And like me, like I was like thinking, I was like. I'm like, oh, that was like pure trash. Like, but like, right. um, somebody said like that was their favorite one. So then, like, right from then, I was like, I'm not taking anything else down. Right, because you never know who's watching. You never know. Right. You never you know, know who's like, watching, and who or who's being affected by what you the content you're putting out. So I don't, I don't ever, don't ever put nothing down. Don't ever pull nothing down unless yeah. it's like some copyright shit and something like that. Then I wouldn't do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you got you got you got keep that history going, you know. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. And plus, it's, it's it's a stunt, you know. Like if I went, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, you might laugh at the, I might laugh at the video, but look, uh, look at the fucking year that it was on, you know. Like fucking boom, been right. doing this, you know. It's it's a stunt as well, you know. Yeah, it's the it's really the growth. Like yeah. you could just like scroll, you know what I'm saying? Scroll down and see all your growth, like. So it's, sure. it's a beautiful it's a beautiful process to watch yourself grow, you know what I'm saying, to see where you <laughs> came from. And, and, and definitely like uh, remembering like 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 for me like the, remembering the times in the nights or like in the interviews and shit like that. Uh, like, like like some of those interviews, like I can look back and be like, oh man, the party that we had after that interview too. Oh uh, yeah. You know, like because uh, like um a lot a lot of these times like the in person interviews like I, I've drank with these people and I've had like you know like um good times with these people like. Like uh, I actually go out with these people and and uh, and party with them and shit like that, and so it's like, man, like looking back at some of these interviews, it reminds me of some of those nights too. Like it's like, man, those are yeah. some good nights. Oh, the memories, the memories. That's yeah. dope. That's dope. 
You know, yeah. then that's you know that's behind the scenes stuff that only you know. See, I would have never known that. You know, what I'm saying yeah. that you did those type of things, so that's cool. I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah, because like um, even like um, even like sometimes like uh, like uh, I I I I've known I want to interview somebody. So I'm like I, I I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna be around them. I won't even bring my camera the first time. I'll just like uh, I'll just chill. You know, like I'll just chill. We'll have we'll have some good times. And then, uh, and then, and then I'll invite them over for the interview. That way, like I've already been around them, I already kind of got got a vibe, and I already know how how I want the interview to go. Oh, see, that's smart. That's smart. It's like doing your homework. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, I fuck you know? with that. Oh, you on your yeah, shit, Mister Eddie G. Oh, for sure, for sure. So, yo, um, <laughs> so uh, for, for uh, like um, making the music, do you uh, you you record everything yourself? Or do you, you, you go somewhere? No, nah, I, I record everything myself because I did I didn't do it because I wanted to. I did it because I end up having to. Because it's yeah. like when you go to different studios, people play with your music and they don't want to send it to you, or you gotta keep hitting them up. Hey, you got this too high. Can you bring this down? Can you cut right. this part out? And once I learn how to engineer myself. It's like I don't have that problem. Like, you know what I'm saying? I watch YouTube. YouTube teach you anything. So if you want to learn how to do anything, you get on YouTube, bro. So I taught myself how to engineer. I taught myself how to uh do the auto-tune. I taught myself all that shit. So I didn't have to depend on nobody else because when you're an indie, uh, independent artist and you're trying to come up, the less cost you have – the better. So the the For less sure. money you have to spend out, the better. The better you are to come up, or you can spend more money on promotion because it's a lot of artists just you know spending fifty, hundred dollars an hour at studios, and then they had this dope product, but they don't have no money left to promote it. So that's why niggas be sitting on golden eggs and they can't even grow it. They can't do nothing with it because they don't have no money to push it. Yeah, uh, definitely. Like, um, I was talking with um, um, my friend Maloney on here about uh, like, like building a team, mm. and I was like, uh, like, like for me, yeah, like I, I, I feel like, like, if, like uh, I've always done everything myself, mm. and like, uh, but, but, but I feel like um, if I can bring somebody in and like uh, teach them some, some of the things I know, that way, like they can take care of that, and uh, like me, I, 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 I'll, I'll learn new stuff. But yeah. uh, it's definitely hard to find those people, though. Like, uh, yeah, because people don't see, people don't have the vision you have. See, you have a vision of where you want you to go, but people don't believe in you like that. Like, they like to be around, but they don't really believe in the vision. They don't see it past their driveway. You see it going to the stars, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, that's the disconnect. It's like, it's hard to find people who believe in you like you believe in me. I think you know that's, the, that's the problem. Yeah, you know what I've learned and I like to do? Because, um, like, um, sometimes telling people your, your ideas, yeah. they actually feel like they can't they, they can't do that. So, 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 so they say, oh, 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 they actually think you actually can't do that. So me, like, uh, for some of my ideas, like, like, like when, like when I was starting to do, like, three interviews a, every week, yeah. I, didn't say, I didn't say anything about it. I just started booking the interviews, and then and, and, and I actually did, like, um, like a, 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 a couple weeks. And then, and then I, and I, and I started telling people, I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is an every week thing. You know, like, oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't want to say it right away because then people were like, uh, oh, oh, whatever, you, like, you know, like, like – they actually feel yeah. like they can't do it, so you can't do it. I'm like, no, right. I'm like, you know? Yeah, people walk, put that. I can walk and people. chew gum and fucking, you know, listen to music, yeah. And, yeah. you know? <laughs> people, pro people project their insecurities on other people. Like, if they see you doing something outside the norm, they can't fathom it. They can't, they can't think that far. So it, it's foreign to them. So they, they just immediately dislike it or they just try to tell you not to do it so you could fall in line with the whole worker ant shit. Like, you know, just be regular. Like, no, you, like when you were, when you were a, a, a thinker or innovator, you know, people don't understand it because you're thinking of something outside of the norm. 
And it yeah. just they, it, it blows their mind. They can't even fathom doing the things that you're talking about doing. Like these interviews you're doing, like I think it's dope. You know what I'm saying? It's something do, And then it, it kind of falls in line with your podcast stuff too. So I feel like it's just a dope thing. And it's, I, I know it's going to grow and be big. I just want to be the first to say it. I know it's going to grow and be big. You know what I'm saying? I like what you're doing. For sure, for sure, man. Definitely. And, like, uh, you, you, your moves, too. Like, uh, I'm a fan of, like, uh, your video guy. Because, like, those videos look, look crisp. Um, the songs yeah. sound sound dope. Um, uh, I, I think you have a good um, – what is the key thing with artists – it's kind of having a, 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 a vision of yourself. Yeah. Because like, like sometimes like when you don't have a vision of, uh, of themselves, they'll, 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 they'll change it up so often. They'll kind of like follow the trends and kind of like, I, 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 I feel like um, when I listen to your stuff, it, yeah. it, it's like uh, you're not following anything. You're like, oh, here's who I am. Right. Um, it's, it's because I, I kind of stay secluded. Like I don't, I don't try to listen to anything. So it, okay. it just helps me get my thoughts out. Because, you know, a lot of artists, the reason why they follow the trends is because they're always listening to the newest thing. So they're just trying to imitate what's new instead of, you know, just sticking with themselves and creating their own little sound. Or if they do got a familiar sound, try to make it in a different way. You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody tries to, like, sound the same and do the same old thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think there's anything like wrong from like learning from like uh, like and, and being inspired by um like uh, different artists, but like yeah. like you have to be like uh, I, I I gotta find um like you have to really kind of like if you're gonna make stuff that's inspired by other people, you you gotta gotta get got like a mixed bowl of it. Like you can't just yeah. be like you know I'm inspired by fucking this one artist and I'm trying to be like this one artist. Yeah. That shit don't, that that shit don't work. But if you're inspired by like you know, like this artist over here, this artist over here, this artist over here. And you got a right. little bit of each. You got a little yeah. bit of each, and like that's that that's you. You know, right. like me. Yeah, I, like, 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 I, when I first started rapping, my very first raps, like um, my flow was like very um cube, like uh, mm. uh, uh um ice cube, because yeah. I, I, I was a big fan of, of cube. Then when yeah. I started listening to uh more like um more Snoop, more more Nas. More, more other people, and then the kind of like all those influences kind of like built in, like and made like a, a gumbo, you know? Yeah, like yeah, you create your own thing. Then once you take little pieces of everything and make a picture with it, it's your picture. It's a whole different picture. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I definitely agree. I think you had a unique rapping style. It was different. Like yeah, I like I like how you rapping. It was kind of like you switched up the flow a lot. I like that. I Thank remember you, that stuff, you. man. I remember that stuff. I remember it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So, um, who are some of those people like that that, that, that you took a little bit from? Uh, I like um, I like immortal technique. I like I don't imitate these guys, but these are just guys that I listen to. Uh, yeah. Immortal Tech, Lupe, Tech Nine. I like Ti, Wayne, uh, Jay Z. You know, just stuff like that. I like Kanye West mainly for his production. I think he has the dopest production. And um, I'm thinking of nobody right now. I like Kid Cudi. I think T Pain is dope, and that's that's kind of like the surface level of it. It's a million other people, I think, but that's kind of like the the surface level of it. For sure, for sure. So um, yo, like uh. I always hear about down south the food. It, 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 like the the is the is the hype real behind down south food? Yes, you should definitely if you ever get a get a chance, come on down to anywhere down south and find you a nice southern restaurant. I'm talking about southern, not no chain restaurant, like a nice southern okay. restaurant. If you ever come to Georgia, I'll personally make sure that you you get fed. I'm gonna definitely make sure it's gonna be on me and everything. I'm gonna make sure you get fed. If you ever come to Georgia, I'm gonna make sure you get a nice southern home cooked meal. Trust me, okay. you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it, man. Do you like? Have, do y'all have like stuff like that up there, like southern soul food spots? Uh, we have like um, 
We have like the chains, you know, like the the chains, like um, Popeyes and. Uh, no, 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 no. Nah, we so gonna there? um. Yeah, I'm still there. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, you gotta you gotta get you like yeah, like if you ever come to Georgia, I, I'm I'm gonna hook you up. I guarantee you. Okay. Uh, right. I'm, I'm I, I was, you. Uh, we got some pretty good burger spots. We got some pretty good burger spots. Like uh, burger spots up here are pretty lit. You like burger? Like you like you like that's your thing. You like hamburg like burgers? That's your favorite thing. Oh no! Like uh, I, 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 I'm a. I always try uh, like uh, d- different things. I'm like some days I like burgers, some days I like pizza, some days I like um, sushi. You like sushi? Oh yeah, I fuck with sushi. That's the that's the shit right there. Right, right? especially um when it's cooked, like it's deep fried. That's my oh, favorite. Like uh, stuff, yeah. yeah, I like I like those. I like those. I even had uh, the fried sweet potato one. That's my favorite right there. Like okay, okay. I don't, that, yeah, um, good. yeah, like, uh, me, like, uh, I, I've gone with people and I'm like, oh, do you, like, uh, I'm ordering stuff on the thing because we all like order it because it, it, it's, um, the all, 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 all I can eat. So, like, yeah. I'll, I'll order a whole bunch and then I'll ask everybody, I'm like, do you want some of this? Sometimes I, 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 I just order it and then not even tell them because, like, the, oh, yeah. like, the barbecue eel is fire, but then, like, you tell people it's barbecue eel and they're like, they oh, Right? They won't. They won't touch it. If they hear that ill word, it's over with. So, what I would do, I'd be finessing. I'd be telling people it's chicken or some yeah. shit like that, and Hell then yeah. get them to try it. And they be like, "Oh, this is good." And I'm like, "Yeah, that's ill." <laughs> <laughs> that's how you catch it because they can't deny it. Then if you tell them what it is, they be like, "Ah, that's disgusting." But if you go ahead and trick them, tell them yeah, it's chicken. Oh, oh, oh! You really like that one? Hell, oh, you never had chicken like that because it's not chicken. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's chicken of the sea. It's eel. <laughs> chicken of the sea. <laughs> right. Right, right. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of, big fan of sushi. Um, yeah. yeah, so, uh, like, uh, me, like, uh, I started off the year, mm. like, uh, on a roll, and, and, and COVID hit. Um, how is, how uh, how, how, how do you feel like your, your momentum was prior to, to COVID? Uh, before COVID, yeah, I love I loved it before COVID. I didn't realize how bad, like how much shit we didn't appreciate prior to COVID. Like the fact that you could just walk in the store, walking out. The fact that you could just go to a, to a show, a, a performance, and go perform, and it's you know what I'm saying? It's like so much different. It's like so much shit that I didn't appreciate. I'm gonna just say it myself personally. I didn't appreciate it until COVID took all that shit away. It came and took all that shit away in less than two months. Like it, right? it's so different now. Like it's so so many things you gotta do. Like even workplaces now. Like you gotta get your temperature checked before you go in. Like you just can't go in anywhere and. Like that freedom is like that freedom you used to have is like gone. Yeah. So that's what I that's what I miss. Like just being able, like if I wanna if I wanna you know get booked on a show, I could go do that, and I wouldn't have to worry about damn, am I gonna get sick or is somebody else from the show gonna get sick? Because you don't never want nobody to have a bad experience, and it'll be a ter- a terrible experience if you're having a show and then somebody leaves the show and be like, damn, I caught COVID. At the Southside Jones show, like nobody yeah. wants that. Yeah, nobody, nobody wants, that. wants that. Nobody wants that. I mean, that's uh, that's definitely um. In me, like uh, I, 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 I feel like um, uh, I, 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 up here, I'm like um, because I'm, I'm, there's no avo- there's no avoiding being around a certain amount of people, but like like me, if I'm not feeling well, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm staying in right right away. I tell anybody right. that uh, uh, that's around me, I'm like, hey, you know, like, you, you, you can come around, but but if, if you have any feeling that like you're, you're not feeling well, you know, don't come around me. Right, but see the whole the whole thing I hate about that is like some people are really selfish. Like some people will be sick as fuck, and they'll have they'll even have COVID because I I've been around people 
who will like come to functions, like little house functions, and they'll be sick. They'll come around. They won't tell nobody, and then you'll find out after the fact after the fact that they had the shit. So it's it's crazy. That's the one thing I hate is like people won't even you know let you know like, hey, I I got COVID. Is it okay if I still come over or you know what I'm saying? Like won't even check in type shit. But if I had COVID, like when I had COVID, I didn't go anywhere. Right, right. I didn't go nowhere. I didn't want to give it to nobody else. And, and, and me, like, uh, I, I, I hope I have, a, like, a good group of friends that I feel like are um, s- smart enough to, like, like, not do that. Like, I, yeah. I, I, like, I feel like, um, but, like, it, uh, yeah, you never know, like, how some people are, you know? But, like, um, I, man, if, if, if somebody just comes over to my house and, like, uh, they're chilling and all of a sudden they're going to start coughing, they're like, oh, yeah, like, I've been feeling sick for a while. I'm fucking picking up the chair they're in and fucking you got yeah you gotta burn that bitch you gotta burn that motherfucking chair <laughs> you can't right. keep that no more it's over right. with. you gotta you gotta burn it or you gotta lie solid down you gotta do something fucking drink a bottle of alcohol just in case i got anything around here you know like right you, you, you gotta get that all that <laughs> yeah, i definitely agree man that's that's dangerous territory for sure for sure um, so what are, uh, the, the next plans, next plans for, um, Southside Jones? I'm working on a project called Shades of Grey and, um, I'm just dropping singles right now, but, you know, I'm, um, dropping this project called Shades of Grey. It's probably going to be anywhere from like 10 to 15 songs, something around there. Awesome. And it's just going to be based upon like, the, the the like how COVID affected like what I'm doing, so it's it's gonna be a darker project. Like it's not gonna be a happy go lucky thing. It's gonna be like stop stop provoking music, you know, you know shit like that. It's just not gonna be that turn up music. You know, I have stuff like that on there for those people who like that, but this is gonna be like more of a darker project. You know what I'm saying? From what I usually do. Yeah, and and like me like uh. Yeah, it's good to have different stuff. Like, like even, even on my phone, I have different playlists of like that uh, that are labeled different like moods. Yeah, because you you're human, so your mood change. Sometimes you want to listen yeah. to club things. Sometimes you want to listen to somebody get like so fucking lyrical it blows your fucking mind. Sometimes yeah. you just want to listen to some ignorant shit, like some shit that you know you shouldn't be listening to, <laughs> but you just love to listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so right. I definitely agree. I definitely yeah. agree. Yeah, you definitely have to have, to have a different playlists and uh, cause yeah, like like um, you know, like our our moves change like so quick, right? Right. But yeah. Um, you, you have any any questions for me? Yeah, I want to know. Uh, do you do? Have you thought about making like playlists for like Eddie G T V? You know what I'm saying? Like maybe oh, like a like artists have been on here. Yeah, like, I think that'll be dope, too, you know what I'm saying? Um, cause I think you got a dope platform, and I think that'll be something that you can add value to yourself. Like, you know, do do whatever streaming service you do, and just, like, all the artists you interview, you know, make a playlist out of it. Yeah, actually, uh, I, I never even thought about doing that, but uh, that's a that's a pretty dope idea. Like, I, I, think, uh, I think a lot of people will like that. You know? Yeah, because I think it, it'll make people want to work with you more because, you know, they're, they're they're getting a dope interview. And then I think, you know, they're getting streams on the back end. So I think it'll work for you. And I think you could, you know, build that playlist up real dope. I think you just everybody, you know, get everybody to follow it. Every artist that you, you know, you interview, get them to follow it. And that, you can build that up. Mm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's definitely a good idea. And like even even put the songs on like uh I've actually seen like um like uh, I I I I've had this show for years I've actually seen like um uh, like artists that I've had on around the same time mm-hmm. like um like and people have told me this like they, they met each other from 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 watching my my interviews and like yeah. uh and like uh, I, 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 artists have been on the show and, 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 and they've actually done songs together after that right so it's it's a discovery so, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, uh, even like I know two guys um, made a whole project together. 
May I hope oh, wow. after, after, after meeting from, 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 from my show. Oh, that's dope. That's dope as fuck. Yeah, See? so like, uh, I, I definitely put, put those songs on there, and uh, yeah, like, uh, that's actually like a, a really good idea. Like, I'll, I'll have to look into that. Yeah, d- do it. Like, what what streaming service do you use? Like, what's your favorite one? Uh, 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 I have Title. You have Title? Yeah. I like Title, but I don't like Title. I'm gonna tell you why I don't like it. Okay. Title don't Title doesn't pay the artist. Like Title, like if you're an artist like me, like Title doesn't pay you until like if I get a stream tomorrow, it's not gonna pay you for your stream for like six months to a year. Oh really? Um, yeah, like, uh, that's. Uh, I actually didn't know that, but uh, I was actually looking at the rates, the mm-hmm. rates per stream, and, mm-hmm. and, and and they're higher for title though. But I, I didn't know they didn't pay. Um, yeah, they 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 are terrible at paying out money, man. They're terrible at it. But I love title because I like how they have the concerts and everything. Yeah. Like I like all that shit. I love it. But yeah. as an artist. You know, when you send your fans the music and then, like, you know, like, you're getting streams and then you look and they haven't been reported, haven't been reported, then you look, like, six months later and you finally get your report for January. You know what I'm saying? Because wow. I, I like looking at my numbers. I check everything. So I'll be – I'm an analytics guy. Like, so I, I love looking at everything. Like, you know, so I can see where everything is coming from so I could try to build something – you know what I'm saying? Like when if I do a Instagram ad or something, I know what city to send it at because I know who's listening. You know what I'm saying? Actually, for for that right there, um, when I was just like, like just doing the music, when I looked at like all, all, all the states, which which state was viewing my stuff the most, it was um um California. And and when, when I started doing interviews, it, it, the um uh, New York. Became my, my my biggest market in, in the states. Oh wow, that's what's up. That's dope, so, man. You moving, I, man. My music it was California was my biggest, and yeah, when, when I started doing the interviews, uh, New York kind of took over. Oh yeah, that's dope, man. It's growing. Yeah. That's all that right. is, man. You're growing. Right, and, and, and like I, I I wouldn't have known that if I wasn't an analytics guy myself. Like I I, I go through and look every uh, everything, um, yeah. and like uh, I I even look at like um. Like uh, I mean, uh, female viewership I, 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 I I've had um right. compared to male. Uh, it was funny. Like uh, um, my uh, I have a music video with uh, uh, my shirt off. Yeah. And like uh, the the, the analytics for that, and like the female views are like way higher than my other stuff. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. I'm like okay. I'm like man. I'm like, I make a little bit of a sex symbol out here, you know. Okay, Eddie G, the sex symbol. I see you, my boy. <laughs> I see you. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. But, like, uh, I, I laughed like hell when I, when, when, when I looked at that. I, I, got, oh, yeah. I, I was like, oh, shit, the female views are up on, on this one. Right. You should have been inspired. For sure, for sure. <laughs> I, I, I definitely um, um, think I have to have my shirt off in, 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 in some of these interviews uh, coming up. You know? Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you might need. To, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. You gotta pull those views yeah. in, man. Yeah. I, hey, um, I don't I'm, knock I'm, it, man. I, I, I'm not getting rid of the taco meat. You know, the taco meat is like part of me. You know. Oh like, damn! I'm, you got you got the taco. You got, got taco the taco meat. meat you know. <laughs> <laughs> you got the taco meat, my boy. Oh man. Yeah. That boy on some lumberjack shit. I see you, my boy. <laughs> For sure. For sure. <laughs> it's like I got hey, a fucking so. sweater on my back, you know? Oh, man. You wildin'. <laughs> <laughs> you wildin'. <laughs> I, I can't do that. You wildin'. You know, I might do a little taco meat. I can't do the whole, you know, hey, I can't do that. I can't do it. I can't do it. You you got that one, man. You, I'm going to let you have it. I mean, it, that's what your ladies like. Hey, man, you know what? It, it, it's really just... um. Just me being me. That's what they like, you know? <laughs> hey, that's the best way to be because if you're yourself, you never got to fake it. You never got to fake anything. Uh, and you know, anybody who deals with you is genuine. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that. I got one of the best compliments from this guy from, um, um, uh, I went to school with him. 
Uh, and I, 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 I ran into him a couple of years ago, and he was like, "You know what?" He's like, I, I, "He's like, I hated you in high school because like I, I, he always said I was fake. He mm. always said I was like uh, just being extra." And mm. then like 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 years down the road, he's like, "Yo, you're still that same guy. Like, like that, that was you the whole time." And like he's like, right. "Yo, he's like, I'm sorry for hating on you." And he's like, right. "I was like, I was like, that was a huge compliment. I was like, thank you, man. Like, you know, like, yeah. you know." He's like he realized. I'm like, oh shit! This has been the same guy the whole time. He just thought I was extra at first because like he wasn't used to, like, yeah, me, you know. Yeah, you got a, uh, you got a, you got a big personality, man. For sure, like, for you, sure. You can't, you can't ignore Eddie G. When you see an Eddie G. coming in the room, you know it. <laughs> right. You definitely, you definitely been. You, you always been the same way. Like you always been humble, and you always had a plan. So I've always respected it. So I, I, I no hate my way, for sure, for sure, and, and, and definitely, I, I definitely feel uh, you, 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 you've always been respectful. You've always been uh, like man, like like cheer us on, you know, like fucking. Yeah. So I, I, I definitely appreciate that as well. Yeah, because I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a yeah, fan sure. of y'all guys. I'm still a fan of y'all guys. If y'all pop out tomorrow with a project, I'm gonna be the first one to download it. I promise you. I'm still a fan. I'm a fan of what y'all did. I'm a fan of what y'all do now, and I'm gonna always be a fan. For sure. I, I, yeah, I think. Uh, like I was thinking, like earlier today, I was like, you know what? If I ever start like working on my next like rap project, yeah. like I just want, I just want to do everything and then just like drop it one day. Like I don't, I don't want to like put it, put it, put out like fucking oh fucking like, new single coming like because like yeah. for me, I, I think like. It, like, cause I, I've been doing this interview stuff for for so long, and like yeah. uh, a, a lot of people don't even know that that, that I want uh, that I w- was once a rapper. Yeah. So I think like uh, if I do some shit, it's just gonna drop one day. It's gonna have fucking like videos, fucking Ooh. Like, everything kind of like just set up all at once and just boom. Oh, I'm definitely gonna be watching it because I don't know when it's gonna drop, so <laughs> I'm gonna be looking for it. Definitely, definitely, uh, and, and definitely, uh, I, I just get inspired by like um. Like, like, uh, like, even doing the show and like, like, um, finding different rappers and kind of like, like, um, watching all this different shit. Yeah. And like, uh, I, it, it's inspiring, man. It's like hearing all these different rappers, and I'm like, man, I'm like, fucking, you know, it just gets me into rap mode sometimes, you know. Oh man, you gonna get you got the bug back, man? You finna drop? Are you are you trying yeah. to tell us something? I might be. I might be. I might, I might be. <laughs> Actually, uh, you, you, you know, I thought it was uh, would be funny. I told one of my friends I want to do this. Um, I'm like, yo, I told him I'm like, yo, he should make the whole song, like, um, like hook, um, verses and everything. But like me, like I, I just want to go and do uh, ad libs. Oh wow! <laughs> I, 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 I just want to go and do ad libs for him. Like be like fucking, like in little parts of it, like talk to him, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh we. So you you want to uh, fall back and be the hype man now? I, 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 you know, for like uh, I, I think it'd be fun. You know, it's, it's always fun doing different things. Um, yeah, I, I might just do that for that song. I, I might I, I even want, 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 I, I might get back to rapping and have somebody do that for me. You know, coming right. to my audience. You know, like uh, yeah. it, it, it's all it's all in the moment, right? Like it's always like we always got new ideas and we always gotta like stay fresh and um, stay inspired. You know. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Got to stay inspired. Got to keep the torch lit. So you got to stay inspired. For sure, for sure. Yeah. So, uh, do you have any more any more questions for me? Or uh... now, nah, man, I'm not gonna hold you up, man. I I think uh, I know you. I know you're a busy man, and you got ten thousand interviews to get to. Yeah, but definitely, like um. Anytime you got you got new stuff, you, you want to come back on the show? Oh, anytime, anytime, man. I, this was dope. This was a dope experience. I was nervous at first. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, I was definitely nervous at first. I've never done you no know, stuff like this. You know, I've done interviews before, but you know, I've never done it. You know, on on live like Instagram live. Okay. This is new to me. Okay. Okay. Definitely, man. Like, you have to have a get, get in the zone. Uh, a, a lot of people are doing doing this. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I suggest even uh, yeah, just get on here and uh, 
And it was more like a, it, it, it's new networking, right? Yeah. yeah. We're not on shows no more. We can't, we can't network the way we used to. This is, yeah. This is, this is a new thing. You know? Oh, yeah. You definitely put me on to this, so I will definitely be doing this as much as I can with the everyone I can. You know, I, I appreciate you, you know, sparking that light bulb and giving me that idea. Awesome, awesome. Uh, where can people find, uh, find the music and, uh, and, and booking you and everything? Okay, if you if you looking for my music, it's on Spotify. It's on every streaming service, Audio Max, Spin Realist, it's on everything. Um, you just put in, you know, Southside Space Jones. And if you, you know, you're trying to book me, you just uh go to southsidejones at gmail dot com. And that's you know, that's pretty much the gist of it. And you know, my Instagram at South Jones at, at Southside Jones S S M. Okay, okay. Awesome and in peace and, and, and stay safe and, and I hope everything uh, is great for you, man. Oh yeah, same, same, same to you, man. And right. thank you for this opportunity. Definitely, definitely. Uh, thank you. And this uh, right. been a dope talk, man. Dope talk. All, All right. right. All right, bro. Uh, peace. Peace.